you guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be reviewing with you what $100 worth of groceries looks like from Trader Joe's so come on and let's get right into it so in today's grocery haul start off by saying Trader Joe's is one of my favorite stores I have a few favorite stores but Trader Joe's is just one of those stores that is so fun to go into from the people that work there and from the offerings that they have. You will see what $100 gets you at Trader Joe's. So for today's haul, I'm gonna start off like I usually do and go through the perishable item. I picked up some Alaska cod fillets. They're frozen and I got about a pound. They were about 10 bucks. And these are actually a product of the USA. I've had the cod from them before and it actually is pretty good. So there's your Alaskan cod right there. Moving along, our next item is more fish. This is Alaskan wild sockeye salmon filet. And this came in at $12.99 a pound for wild caught. And it looks pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. My next item is Trader Joe's organic free range chicken. And this came in at $6.99 for organic boneless and skinless breasts, which is pretty decent for organic free range chicken. That's pretty good. The next item I picked up was 85% lean ground beef. And that, this came in at $5.99 for a pound. Trader Joe's doesn't have a person working in the meat department cutting the meat fresh, so it's all prepackaged. But I have to tell you, it's pretty good from, from what I've had so far. Pasture raised large brown eggs and these are these are pretty good eggs i have to say these rang in at 4.99 a dozen and they say that they're certified humane which i don't doubt trader joe's has a pretty good reputation as far as i'm concerned our next item you know i like to eat edamame beans i don't know if you've ever had them but they're the pods the soybean pods for a snack once in a while, you just boil some water, throw these in, in the water, throw some salt on them, and just pop them pods open and eat the beans out. It's really good. These came in, I bought two packages of these for snack, and these came in at $2.29, you get a full pound. My next item, now I might as well go through the lettuce. They have a lot of different types of lettuce at Trader Joe's. And by the way, their vegetables, all of their fresh vegetables are outstanding. These are Power to the Greens Organic. You get five ounces. And these come in at, these come in at $2.49 a bag. I also have Organic Herb Salad Mix, which is five ounces. And this came in at $2.69. My next item is Brussels sprouts. These ring up at $2.99. Moving right along, I have organic shredded green and red cabbage with orange carrots, nine ounce bag. And these ring in at $2.49 each. My next item is organic baby broccoli. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? And this rang up at 379, eight ounces. My next item is organic English cucumber. This rang in at 249 each. And then moving right along, we have organic tofu, high protein. This rang up at 249 for a whole pound. This I like to make once in a while. You know, you could just open the package, drain the water, and just slice it and eat it as it is. It's, it's kind of bland, but if you need something quick, it does have a high amount of protein, and it's pretty good for you. you know, I did pick up a couple of fruit items. I am on a low-carb keto diet, so my intake of sugar is very low. So that being said, I eat fruit, but I eat it in very small amounts. 
In this haul, I picked up a bag of Dosi's Mandarin Oranges. These bring in at $2.49 for two pounds. You get a pretty good amount. My next item is, of course, bananas, and these are 19 cents a piece. You can't beat that deal. I had three, but me and the little dog, we ate it. Now I'll get into the dry goods. So I was in the spice aisle at Trader Joe's, and with Trader Joe's, you never know what you're gonna find in there because they, they change out their stuff pretty often. It depends on the season. You might find, for example, during, um, the months of November and December, you might find everything pumpkin. Then at other points in time, you might find things with cran like cranberry. But in the spice aisle, I found pizza sprinkle seasoning blend. And I thought, let me look at the ingredients. So I looked at the ingredients and found that the ingredients were surprisingly good. There's no MSG in there. It, the ingredients are tomato powder, granulated garlic, paprika, sea salt, rice concentrate, coriander, black pepper, dried parsley, dried basil, and dried oregano. So I got it and I actually tried it. It's pretty tasty. I can see myself making some almond crackers, which would be low carb, and adding this on top for the seasoning will be really good. So this rang up at two. 99 sugar free dark chocolate candy bar three and a half ounces rings up at 199 and as you can see i tested it and it's pretty good in moderate amounts and low amounts i don't go crazy with it because there is the only thing about this is the um there is malitol in there and that can cause stomach upset so you have to be very careful with it but if you're in the mood for something sweet, chocolatey, that doesn't have real sugar in it, this is probably your best bet. Now, let's see what else we have. In our bag of tricks, I will say that Trader Joe's staff, at least where I am, and, and when I've been traveling and going into Trader Joe's, their staff are some of the best people I've ever met. They're kind, they're attentive, they ask you, if you found everything okay, and they're overall genuinely pleasant and happy to be there. I don't know what Trader Joe's does for their staff, but the people they hire are pretty awesome people. Good job over there, Trader Joe's, good job. We'll get into greeting cards. Would you believe five greeting cards I picked up? They're the most coolest cards. Happy Easter, can you see that? Their greeting cards are done by several different artists, and I have to tell you, you cannot beat the price at $1 a piece. They call these gourmet greeting cards. So if you need some greeting cards, what I like to do is I go in there when I don't actually need them and I buy a few different ones, sympathy cards. And now we're near Easter, so I bought a couple of Easter cards, and I know someone's moving soon. And I happen to see one for a new home how can you beat that? I mean, I'm sorry, I don't want to put Hallmark out of business, but $5 for a greeting card seems to be, to me at least, to be a little on the steep side, don't you think? And nowadays, it's all about saving money, isn't it? So well, that's that for our greeting cards. Okay, we're moving it along. This is an express video. Do you like that? Because time is valuable, isn't it? You got other things to do, I know you do. But I'm glad you stopped by in any event. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and please share the video. I'm working hard at this and I'm getting better at it, but I still need your support. So help me out, will ya? Herbal teas at Trader Joe's. These two herbal teas are my favorite. In the winter months when I'm freezing my, whatchamacallit off, I really enjoy Trader Joe's spice chai tea and it's very tasty i like it sometimes when i do it when it's really cold i'm a coffee drinker and a tea drinker so in the winter i'll have my coffee when i wake up in the morning maybe two or three cups and then after especially if i'm home off from work i'll make myself a couple of cups of chai tea and boy it seems to warm me up much, much better than anything else, to be honest with you. So I highly recommend Trader Joe's chai, spice chai tea, it's outstanding. My next item is Trader Joe's well-rested herbal tea. And I have to tell you, this is a tea that I like to have in the wintertime, in the evening, to get me mellowed out for bed. 
this really works out well. It has a couple of different things. Chamomile, lemongrass, spearmint, tiliflower, peppermint, passionflower, blackberry, leaf, orange blossom, hawthorn berry, and rose petal. It's a really nice blend and it's, it's very tasty. In fact, I find it to be more tastier than the name brand teas that you can get. I don't want to bash anybody, but I find that this is more flavorful to me than the other brand name sleepy teas. Let's see what else we have in our bag of tricks. How do you like this insulated bag? It matches my shirt, doesn't it? It's pretty neat. But uh, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. That's why I decided to get it. The next item, they do have uh, a pretty nice snack aisle if you happen to eat snacks, if you like different types of chips. They have different types of chips. And they use pretty good ingredients for the most part on all of their snack items. So I would encourage you to look at them if you are a snacker and want some different type snack ideas. Trader Joe's has a wonderful aisle down there. But the next item is Trader Joe's Hearts of Palm Pasta, linguine shaped. And I have never personally tried this, but another YouTuber, her name is Myra, low carb love. I watched her video and she had a video about Trader Joe's bread substitutes and she had this on there. So I said, let me give it a whirl. I don't know what it's like yet, but what I've heard people say that it's really, really good and I'm willing to give it a try. Hearts of Palm Pasta. And this ring up, I found it to be a little bit on the pricey side but I'm willing to try. This was $3.49, and the reason why I say it's pricey, you only get three servings out of it. So, but anyway, uh, let's see. And then I also have Riced Hearts of Palm, which this seems like another interesting item. And again, it's three servings. This rang up at $3.49 as well. So, and I haven't yet tried it, but I'm very willing to try it out and see what it's like. I will say they have a lot of cool items that are specific to their store that you can't get in like the major grocery stores. And that's what I think I love about Trader Joe's the most. For example, if you go into their um, prepared foods, which I didn't get any prepared foods here. And what I mean by prepared foods, like they have wraps that are already done. They have little salads that you know like tuna salad and chicken salad but they also have salads ready-made salads that have different things in them and they're from the ones that i've tried they're all really really good but i didn't include them in on this grocery haul because i wanted to show what you can get for a hundred dollars at trader joe's because sometimes you know how i have discussions with people i like to talk in case you haven't noticed but in any event one of the biggest things that I find puzzling when I talk to people about Trader Joe's is that they say it's expensive, but I don't think it's any more expensive than any other grocery store. The thing about Trader Joe's is again, they have specific food items you can't get at any other grocery stores. For example, these teas are, this chai tea I think is better than any chai tea I've had, like in the brand name type teas. And this is their brand. They have, and the people, whoever creates these things, is, they have gourmet flair, I have to say. It's not, their stuff is, I give it five stars. The quality of their stuff is five stars, especially the produce items. Um, but also, I don't want to neglect to mention the cheese case. Oh my God, I gave up dairy products because I have food allergies, so I have to be very careful. But let me tell you, they have some of the best cheeses in that cheese case. You have to check it out for yourself. And actually, from what I remember, the prices are very reasonable. They're not outrageous. They're not overcharging. They're not crazy. They're reasonable. That and also one other thing I want to mention Trader Joe's has really good coffees. I didn't get any during this haul, but if I needed it, I wouldn't hesitate to get some of the bean coffee. They have they have a grinder there, so when you if you if you get their coffee 
in the whole bean form you put it in the grinder and the whole place smells like you're gonna pass out it smells so good thank you for joining me in this video today which was trader joe's what one hundred dollars will get you and here it is thanks for stopping by over and out ciao for now and i'll see you in the next one